What is happening, webheads? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And you guys are in my place of work right now, but I just wanted to let you know there's a bunch of new comic books getting ready to hit the store shelves really soon. This is the latest FOC. So if there's any comics on this list that interest you, let your comic shop know as soon as possible. And if you guys love daily comic book content, Guys, you came to the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with that being said, guys, let's get started with this week's FOC. All right, guys. So here we go with Saturday's FOC. We're kicking it off with Marvel this week. Last week, there was no Marvel. This time, this FOC contains multiple Marvel release weeks, May 1st, uh, May 8th. And then there's a note here where Venom Separation Anxiety is out May 15th and Spider-Gwen is out May 22nd. So kicking this bad boy off, we have Spider-Gwen, Ghost Spider, Issue 1. Gorgeous looking covers here. I'm going to definitely check this series out. Uh, Jenny Frizen cover though on that top right is phenomenal. So let's move on here. We have another new number one. We have Deadpool, Wolverine, World War III. This is issue one. Obviously, the movie's right around the corner, guys. So this is going to be, I think, a highly anticipated comic book. Check this one out. I think it could be a lot of fun. Then we have the Venom Separation Anxiety issue one. Row two on the right will be a foil and obviously will be priced, you know, accordingly, right? Your shop could have it at a different price than mine. But if you want it, make sure you let your shop know. Really cool looking book there. Then we have Get Fury. This is issue one. So we have a Nick Fury comic book. It looks like it's set back in the old days here. It's got three different covers to it. Looks like it could be pretty cool. Next, we have Star Wars Phantom Menace. This is the 25th anniversary special Oh my God, I, I I cannot believe that. It's 25 years since that movie has come out. Man, that's really making me old, man, because I was a kid when Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi came out, and then we had these movies. Man, oh man. Then we have Giant Size X-Men. This is issue one. Not the one that you're thinking of, but this is celebrating 50 years of the Giant Size comic books. And uh, so we're going to have... A story in there and then it's going to be a reprint now we move on to the blood hunt tie-ins we have the amazing spider-man issue 49 look at that great john ramuda jr cover <laughs> you can hear the sarcasm in my voice right but that bottom left one that's pretty cool it's like a female ghost rider is that like spider gwen as ghost rider and then you got the disney variant on the right then we have the continuation of Avengers. This is issue 14. This is also connected to Blood Hunt. But the bottom left cover is absolutely smoking with Kate, you know, firing like all the arrows. That's pretty sweet. Then we have Blood Hunters. This is issue one. Looks like we got a Greg Land cover on the left. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I'll see what I want to collect. Depends on the comic book week when it comes to all the Blood Hunt stuff. Then we have Doctor Strange, issue 15, again, connected to Blood Hunt. Like the bottom left co cover once again here. This one could be cool because I, this series is written by Jed McKay. He is writing the overall book itself, so could have a good connection to it. If anything might be good, though, it might be Dracula. This is Blood Hunt. This is issue one. So that, that left cover is pretty sweet as well. Then we have a Strange Academy book also tied to Blood Hunt. I will pick this up because I love Strange Academy. I love the cast of characters and I'll see what story it has to offer. Next, we have uh, excuse me, Vengeance of Moon Knight. This is issue 5. Yes, guys, it's all connected to Blood Hunt. So, you know, I feel that when it comes to these Blood Hunt books, you know, just pick up the books that you normally read and just don't go out of your way for the other ones. Unless you hear that they're good. For me, of course. <laughs> Next, we have Venom. This is issue 33. Also tied to Blood Hunt. Gotta love that homage cover on the left. Then we have Captain America. This is issue 9. Doesn't look like it's tied to anything Blood Hunt. Doesn't have the banner on it. Is anybody reading Captain America? 
Then we have Captain Marvel. This is issue 8. Not reading Captain Marvel right now, but that bottom left cover is smoking. Love that black costume. Then we have the continuation of Daredevil. This is issue 9. Main cover is a John Ramuda cover. It looks like, is it? Yeah, it kind of looks like his artwork. And it looks like Elektra and Matt are like making out there. Then we have another Deadpool book. This is Deadpool. This is issue 2. The first issue was great. It actually really surprised me, and I'm looking forward to the next issue. Then we have Fantastic Four. This is issue 20. Uh, Not currently reading this series. Let me know, guys, in the comments below on what you think of it. Next, we have Immortal Thor. This is issue 10. Love the Alex Ross covers that come out of this comic, but that's about it for me. Then we have The Incredible Hulk. This is issue 12. Another book that's just fallen so far down because we have inconsistent artwork the storytelling just drags on let's hope it gets better then we have new mutants issue 98 we have the facsimile edition there's uh one on the right hand side will be a foil let your comic shop know that you want it next we have another really good book that came out this is spider-man shadow of the green goblin this is issue two the first one i graded a a plus i thought it was a phenomenal story Hits a lot of beats of what Spider-Man actually is. Followed by that, we have Spider-Woman. This is issue 7. So we get to see Jessica, you know, maybe go to the West Coast here and do her thing over there. So we'll see what happens. Star Wars fans, you have Star Wars High Republic. This is issue 7. Next, we have Weapon X-Men issue 3. So I wasn't a fan of the first issue, so I don't think I'm continuing it. But if you like Wolverine, we have Wolverine issue 49. This continues the Sabretooth War. It's been a really solid story so far. Look at that cover on the bottom left. What is that costume? Very interesting. Then we have some reprints here. We have Ultimate Spider-Man issue 3 reprints. The Edge of Spider-Verse cover did not show up on my email. Not sure which one that is. We have Web of Spider-Man reprints which it has the Goblin on there, which is sick. And then we have um, X-Men 97 issue 1 reprint. Next, we move on to DC Comics. Here we go, guys. Flash 2024 annual. This is a one-shot. Some of these annuals tend to be pretty decent stories. Some of them are not. I'm not reading the Flash, so I'll pass this one up. Now we have Harley Quinn issue 2024 annual. This is also, once again, a one-shot because they're annuals. (laughs) <laughs> you know, when it comes to annuals, you know, again, they're hit and miss. I don't read Harley either, so I'll pass this one up. Nightwing 2024 annual. I will read this one as I have read every single issue of Tom Taylor's Nightwing, and we'll see what this uh, annual has to offer. Then we have Suicide Squad Kill Arkham Asylum. This is issue four. This is obviously attached to what? The video game. So, yeah, we got that coming out. Then we have the Superman House of Brainiac Special Issue 1 One-Shot. So there is a foil on this one. It's going to be the one on the right. So go ahead and let your shop know if you want that one as well. Next, I think we have a book that people are going to be excited for. This is Space Ghost Issue 1. These are the indie gems this week. The main cover looks pretty sick. The second row in the middle also looks really good too. Then we have Lilo and Stitch. This is issue three. I know a lot of Disney fans are going to be digging this book. So let me know if you're still reading it. (laughs) Then we have this book called Toxic Summer. This is issue one. Could be very fitting for the time of year. Next, we have Bear Pirate Viking Queen issue one from Image Comics. Followed up by some of the Valiant books that are getting ready to come out. We have the Valiance issue one. We have Faith Returns issue one. And then we have Godzilla's 70th anniversary. This is issue one. Next, we have a new uh, dark book, excuse me, dark horse book that comes out. This is called Heart Piercer issue one. Then we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, black, white, and green playing off of the black, white, and red books. So that's pretty awesome right there. That's definitely a different way of looking at your turtles, right? Then we have a title called Mugshots. This is issue one. 
Then we have Mezzo Trial of Rodin. This is issue one. We have another Dark Horse book, which is Masters of the Universe. This is Revolution. Looks like it's got Hordak on there and Skeletor. That could be pretty cool, guys. And then we have a one-shot by Chip Zdarsky called White Trees. Then we have Whisper Queen. This is issue one. So there you guys have it. There are the latest, the greatest, the newest, the hottest comic books getting ready to hit store shelves. Like I said, let your shop know that you want these comic books. And as always, guys, if you love the content, I'll leave you more content right here. In fact, this is my newest series called The Most Pulled Comic Books of the Week. Hopefully, you'll check it out. And as always, guys, remember, support the local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember... Read those comics so we can have some great conversation. Guys, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.